guys and welcome back to another video tutorial with Blender 2.82. I'm going to show you today how to duplicate the effects that you have created on a video strip to another video strip. Now this may seem impossible but there is a workaround so there are limitations to it and um, you'll have to decide whether this is going to be applicable for your project. Um, it saves a lot of time when you have um, created maybe three or so video effects on a strip and you want to duplicate those to other strips. So let's get to it. I've got a strip here, simple animation of Suzanne, which I created and then there's a second strip which is something like that. Okay, so I want to create a, a um, an effect on this video, and I'm not going to do it over here. It may be tempting to do it. Um, for instance, you can change the opacity and so on. But you'll notice that there are limitations to that. It's better to add an effect strip. So how do we do that? We just press Shift A and effect strip, and then we go to the transform. And then you'll see that there are a lot more um, effects that you can do here. Um, the first thing I want to do is change that blend mode back to alpha over, which it should be. And I'm going to create a fade in effect. So we'll just put that at one. Um, bring the opacity down to zero. And while the mouse pointer is there, I'm going to press the key I to insert the keyframe which in the graph editor up here is there. A few frames in I'm going to bring the opacity to 1 and again press the I key with the mouse pointer hovering. We now have that effect, fade in effect. I'm going to go to 3 which is more or less in the middle of this length and I'm going to create an effect there which is just simply going to be a scale down of the image so I'm going to press I to key in that size 1 move a few frames along and then I'm going to bring it to half the size and again press I to key in that going to the uh, graph editor we can see that has been done and at the end of the video I'm going to let the uh, image slide out to the right. So I'm going to press I here and bring it to the end and bring it to about 100 and press I. That should have moved it completely out, yes. So that works. So now you can see uh, if you were to do all that again for this video strip it would be quite laborious and a waste of time. So we can just duplicate that onto the video. How do we do that? Okay, select both of the original, the transform and the video strip, press Shift D to duplicate, press G to grab and Y to move it up vertically. Simply select the duplicated image strip go down to source here at the bottom and press over here where the file path is and we're going to change the source to the video that we had over here. Two obvious things you'll notice that the name of the file is still the same. Has it changed? Well let's have a look. Yes, the video has changed but the name has not changed so we need to change it. BSE, we'll just put it B8. Alright, um, it'll keep adding one there so what you can do is delete the original and just rename it. You don't need the original now but what I'm hearing you say right now is, oh, the video was only this long and you can see there, um, let's just zoom in, it stops here. So what's happened is it's duplicated the um, 
video and stretched it out to the length of that transform which we copied onto it which is pretty neat because the video effects are spread out to the length of that video however I don't want that I want it to work for the actual length of the video so what do I do well it's simple we just um, zoom in a little bit more pressing shift B so we can get the exact end of that frame of uh, the video strip and clicking on the end of that strip so that you see the arrow you simply want to uh, snap it to the what's called the playhead the beginning of the video to that length so press shift S and that's what happens now the only thing that you have to do is move your effects to fit into the length so it's just easy to click outside here press shift B to move the first one in line with your marker which is more or less halfway into the video halfway there press G in the graph editor and X to move it horizontally and bring it over there and then the end of the video we'll select that effect there press G X and just bring it up to there and let's have a look now it works for um, images as well so I'm just going to show you we'll just um, add a s image here blender logo I'm just going to add a transform again and we'll just reduce the size of this image to 0.5 okay something quick and easy now I just want to add it to another image uh, which is this image over here I'm not going to add it from here though I'm first going to duplicate it here shift D just grab it over put it over here for now and replace that image source when you use an image you'll see it's slightly different it has the pathway there and the name of the file below and then a few lines down here it says change data slash files click on that and there you go the same effect has been applied once again you'll need to just change the name over here to whatever the uh, new image file is that you wanted and uh, that's it so I hope this helps you as I said it has limitations and pros and cons but you'll know what's best for your project if you like this video please give a like and if you haven't subscribed yet please do so.